Hi, I'm Jean Haynes and I'm a watercolour addict and I'm here today to show you how I paint animals. My favourite subjects, whether it's wildlife or domestic pets. This is a great photograph for connection. If you're painting a commission, again the owner wants to know it's their pet. Think about the connection in emotion too. This dog is obviously looking up for something, going for a walk, having a treat. Bring that emotion into your work. So you're going to be, before you start, looking for a subject that you fall in love with, a subject with character, maybe an emotional connection, something that makes you feel good that you desperately want to paint it. When you've got something beautiful, even if it's a study, take your time. Don't, don't race that last touch, because after all that, the last thing you want to do is ruin it. And you can decide where you want it. You see, I can see the white as a line, so I could pop a little bit here. And I think I'm going to put a tiny bit there as well, just on the inside of the eye. That just gives it a nice 3D. Sometimes you find there's a curve, there's a curved line, so I could add a tiny bit in a direction there, which gives the eye more of a round shape, and it starts really coming to life then. I love this light area of cheek. To me, that's quite important. I almost want to feel as though if the dog was looking at me, I'd cut my hand there and stroke the animal. So I want to try and emphasize that by getting a nice circular movement. And that would lead me into this lovely shadow. Now I'm beginning to feel the animal come to life. You have a lovely soft background. These little touches, these details, actually work really, really well. So you can actually start looking at the mouth now. If I measure again with my pencil, that jowl is a bit further forward. So actually, sorry, with my paintbrush, if I go like that, the jowl is actually over here, not where I put the colour. So I can actually drop that in, start sketching where that lower mouth is going to be and start thinking about a few of those little ridges and soften it down. Keep it very soft because if you touch that, that would be like velvet. So you don't really want hard brushwork. I actually had a lovely tip from my Chinese mentor. If you're looking at something soft, use soft brushwork and soft colour. If you're looking at something that's solid, use stronger colour. And I find that very helpful. Mm -hmm.